For today's DIY, we're going to be re-webbing this lawn chair. This is a super simple way to upgrade your outdoor space, and you'll only need a few materials and tools. So we'll first start with everything that you'll need, and then we'll get started with the project. The biggest thing that you're going to need for this project is a 2-inch webbing of your choice. Good options for this are polypropylene, polyester, seatbelt, nylon, and Dyneema webbing. We don't recommend using grow grain webbing because it is very thin and only supposed to be used for craft purposes, so we don't want it to be holding cumin weight. We're going to be using heavy duty polypropylene webbing because it's economical and doesn't stretch much. It's also softer to the touch than other types of webbing. So you can choose the two inch webbing that is best for your chair. Our chairs use roughly 45 feet of webbing per chair, but depending on your chair size and how many that you're going to be redoing, it might be more economical to buy by the roll. So we recommend measuring your chair and seeing how much you need before you buy. We're also going to be using size zero grommets. This is the size grommet that fits with our chair, so we recommend checking your chair first and then finding the size that works best for them. The grommet set that we chose also comes with a cutting block and a die set to install them. Now onto our tools. You're going to need a mallet, a Phillips head screwdriver, a marking tool, a scratch all, a measuring tape, our Sailrite Edge hot knife, and our Sailrite tempered cutting glass. The first thing that we're going to do is remove all of the old webbing from our chair. So we're going to unscrew each one and then set those screws to the side. Now would be a great time to give your chair a good clean once the webbing has been removed. And then after you've done that, you can set it to the side. Before we cut out our new webbing, we're going to get the measurements for it. So how we're going to do that is we're going to measure the old strips that we've already taken off our chair. So we're going to take the short one and a long one, and we're going to measure those lengths. And then once you have that measurement, you can go ahead and write it down. With both of those measurements, we're going to add two and a half inches to it. This will accommodate where we fold over our edges and add our hardware. So now we're going to grab our new webbing and we're going to measure it out. Now that we've cut out all of our webbing strips, we're going to show you how to finish the edges and add hardware. So now we're going to taper our corners. We're going to cut on our Sailrite tempered cutting glass to line up these measurements. And we're going to mark a line from this quarter inch to that quarter inch. Just like so, and we're going to do the same thing on the opposite corner. So this is kind of how your taper will look. Then we'll go ahead and taper our corners with the hot knife. So now that we've tapered our first corner, we're going to do the same thing to the opposite end. And then once we've done that, we're going to taper all the corners of our webbing strips. We're going to be installing grommets on both ends of each piece of webbing. You're going to want to make sure that you've folded both ends the same direction so when we install it on our chair, the folds will be hidden. First, we're going to take the end of our webbing and fold it down and we're going to start right where the taper starts. Then we're going to take our cutting block and place it underneath. Then we're going to use our hole punch and place it in the middle of our folded section. And we're going to use our mallet to cut it. So 
So now that we have our hole, we're gonna install our grommet. The last step of our project is to put our new webbing on the frame. We're gonna make sure that the folded part of our webbing is hidden. So we're gonna line up our grommet hole and then the hole on our chair and then use a screw to screw that into place. And then when we get to the other side, we're gonna be using our scratch all to tension it. We're gonna follow these same steps to install the rest of our webbing on our chair. Now that we've installed all of our horizontal strips, we're gonna install our vertical ones. And we're gonna be doing this the same way as we did all the others, except this time we're gonna be weaving it in and out as we go down. And that's really all there is to revamping this lawn chair. We've linked all the tools and materials that we've used in the description below, so make sure to check that out. And we'd love to see what you create. So if you decide to do this project, make sure to tag us on social. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all of our latest videos.